for you know squad it will be um doing the overclocking of the z270 asus strix motherboard if you have a z170 or x99 from asus overclocking them is really easy and simple and if you don't know how to overclock these are the best motherboards how to work and just for overclocking it's simple but for me i wouldn't overclock it because when you overclock it really you can, when you overclock it yes you are increasing your cpu performance but you're also shortening your cpu lifespan so it's uh, like a middle it's up to you you should if you do it it's up to you like if you just want to show it hey i have overclocked my system yeah will you do it if you don't want to do it just normal use it's not it doesn't matter that much but let's see so to overclock you have to first you need to go to bios settings when you're on bios page you have to do one thing and that's really simple you just need to go here is that tuning wizard just or you can press the f11 when you come on that page it's just simple so now it will tell you your cpu what's the rate uh, your temperature and everything now you have to press next now you have to choose what kind of uh overclock you want for your system like or what kind of system uh, like you use for like is it normal use daily computing for gaming and editing we'll go for gaming and editing next now it will ask for you what kind of uh cooler do you have like is it a stock cooler that's the one is it a air cooler or is it a water cooler since i have a water cooler we will go to water cooler now it will tell you the estimation tuning results so let's just press next if the system becomes unstable after tuning please ensure uh, under the bios setup and load default settings and press yes and that's it so now we wait for the system to start up again you press dell or f2 so we are back now it will tell you the speed it's running on now that's 40 no 4300 before that was 4200 and to like normally uh, sorry you have to go to advanced mode and then you have to go to ai tweakers now normally for the i7 the uh, sky lake 7700 series the turbo frequency is around 4500 but now it's 4900 and see your system has been overclocked you can see it from that uh, over here too the temperature is 32 31 so which is good it's yeah it's bit it's overclocked and uh, it's really easy for you guys you can test it but i wouldn't say how use that one if you don't know what you're doing so it's for all those guys who don't know how to do overclock your system but they want to overclock it that's the easiest way Anyways guys, take care, have a good day, please like the video and for any other question, please hit me up. Thank you guys, take care, have a good day. Oh, one more thing, if you don't know how to, if you don't want, like you have overclocked your system and you're failing your uh, CPU is running a bit more harder, how to stop it. You just have to go to here, load optimize default settings, press OK, and then... Oh, sorry that's one save changes and reset it will tell you all the settings will be go back so we want to go back to the normal one we don't want to overclock it now so we'll just press ok and that's it take you guys have a good day